Hi, this is Jim Ben with Homestyle Southern Cooking, and I've got a wonderful hat to bring you today. Um, it's fall of the year, and in the fall of the year, you start seeing things you don't see the rest of the time of the year. And I've got something that you either love or you either hate. It's candy corn. Now, some people see it and go, oh, and some people just can't wait for this time of year for candy corn. But we're going to make something with the candy corn, and you're not going to be able to taste the candy corn. We're going to make a Butterfinger fudge with four ingredients. And I promise you, it tastes like Butterfinger. Butterfinger is one of my favorite candy bars. And it's done with four ingredients. But one of the ingredients happens to be candy corn. So um, I just love these little things. I know a lot of people don't. So let's get started. I'm going to mix everything in my pan first. Then we'll go to the oven. I have three cups of candy corn. I'm just gonna pour those right into my pan. I've got two cups of white chocolate chips or white chips. So that's three of the candy corn, two of the white chips. To that, I'm gonna add one can of sweet and condensed milk. I'm going to try to get all this out of here. It's only four ingredients. And you, you're going to be surprised. You're going to say, oh my goodness, I, I cannot believe candy corn. And I, even if you hate candy corn, you should just at least give this one a try and see. Because you're not, you're not going to believe it, okay? The last thing I'm going to put in there is I'm going to put in one cup of peanut butter. But remember, I've showed you in other videos, anytime you have to have molasses or corn syrup or anything that you want to come out easy, if you take a little bit of spray, you spray your, your cup first before you put it in there, it comes out so much easier. Now, you can use any kind of peanut butter you want. I'm going to take one cup of peanut butter here. I might have too much there. No? Add a little bit more. But like I said, you, you're just going to be absolutely amazed when you try this. Absolutely amazed. Now, see my peanut butter? It should just plop right out. Look at there. See how clean that is? I don't have to go digging it all out. Okay. Now we're going to go over to the oven, or the stove, the stove top, and I'm going to take my pan, and I'm going to put it on, a, on my oven, on my stove, and I'm going to start melting this. And it's going to be very hard to do at first, because the candy corn is, of course, is really hard. So I'm just going to put it on here, keep stirring it until it starts melting, and then I'll come back and show you step by step. Okay, as you can see, I'm still melting and I'm about halfway through. It's got to get really liquidy, but I'm about halfway through. Uh, and when I get to the final step of being liquefied, I'll come back. Almost ready, but if you'll see ever so often, a little piece of candy corn will pop up. So I want to just keep on stirring this to make sure that I have it all nice and melted, okay? And it's pretty much there. There's some little pieces of candy corn right there. But if I keep on stirring it, they'll melt. So I'm going to turn this off. Next step, we'll be pouring it into our pan. As you can see, I have my pan already ready. I've got some parchment paper in there. And we'll pour my, my fudge right in here. Boy, does it smell good. And people will not believe you when you take this somewhere and you tell them that you made it with candy corn. They'll say, yeah, right. Okay, now, it's in here. Now, I've, what I've got to do is I've got to put it in the refrigerator and let it set up for about an hour. So after it sets up, I'll come back to you and we'll cut it. Hey, welcome back. Our candy corn butterfinger fudge hack is out of the refrigerator. It was in there for about about two hours and it's set up 
So now it's time to pull the paper back and cut this bad boy and try it. So we'll pull the paper back here and I'm going to cut off a corner. I probably had it in the refrigerator too long. Okay. Look at that. How beautiful that is. Now the true test, we'll try it. You would never believe this was candy corn. Doesn't taste like candy corn. Tastes like a butterfinger. You can taste the peanut butter. Wow, that is amazing. You need to try this. For the fall, the kids will love this. Wow. Really, really, really good. That would be a good addition to any candy or cookie tray. Thank you so much for letting me come back in today and for your support. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. It helps build the channel and uh, you won't miss any of the recipes. I appreciate each one of y'all. Y'all are my family and you have been my support. And I hope you have a wonderful day ahead of yourself. And know that I'm thinking about you. Until next time, I'll send you a great big hug. I tell you, God bless.